Hello and welcome, this is D-Man bringing you Let's Play Dwarf Fortress, my very first Let's Play. And as you can see, I have chosen my Embark spot. Uh, what it had was uh, Fluxstone, uh, Metals, uh, Shallow and Deep. I think I just said yes for both, uh, Fluxstone and a River. Uh, and I'm happy with those conditions. I think it's actually pretty... Uh, forest is, is, I think it's heavily wooded, so I should have lots and lots of woods uh, if I should need it. Um, preferably, I'm going to strike in towards the metal. So, I've told them to dig out here, channel down. I'm digging out the area, so that's around about the footprint size that I want my fort to be. Um, it's a pretty straightforward map, lots of uh, sand around. Uh, actually, I think it's clay, I believe it is. Uh, yes, it is fire clay. And there's water around. There's also, I noticed... Um, somewhere around here is, yeah, there you go, Fluxstone right on the top layer of this uh, mountain, so I'm going to be probably straight up there digging that out shortly, so uh, what we're going to do we're going to dig out uh, first our area for farms um, build a still up there get the alcohol going and a uh, carpenter's workshop and since we've got clay, probably a clay kiln uh, there as well so we'll get some pottery going um, looks like is that red sand? Oh, brilliant. Have we got sand and uh, clay? Oh, yes. We've got fire clay there. We've got red sand there. We've got glass and pottery. And uh, we've got different type of clay there. And we've got fluxstone. Oh, let's just go. There's the marble fluxstone. Um, I, I kind of want to dig down a few more layers. Hmm. I, I'll leave them to it for now. We'll, we'll maybe go down the layers first. Uh, what we want, hopefully, is some sort, some form of metal. It's uh, if we can get any metal at all, we've got plenty of wood. We could get steel industry going pretty early on. And so that's the map layout. Um, what we want to do, we want to allocate some pastures for our animals. Um, we've obviously got a few. I'm going to try and keep them in uh, the radius of of my. Uh, I think it's about about there. Yep. Uh, so we'll set that up. Uh, that's I for zone. N for, uh, actually just mark out the area, N for pen and pasture, shift N, allocate, uh, I'm just going to put my, uh, uh, I'll put the hens in there, and the rooster, and the duck, and the drake, uh, there we go, nice and easy. Uh, I'm going to keep the cow, the two cows I've got, I'm going to keep them separate, um, I may just cut them up for meat, I don't know, uh, but I'll keep them separate, so we'll set another pasture up there, uh, straight down, Yak cow, yak cow. Um, not bothered about the dogs and cats at the moment. You might want to allocate them if we're going to do some sort of danger rooms, which I'm definitely going to be doing. Um, my, I've got a hunter. I've done the default. It's if you're on Lazy New Pack, which I'm sure many of you are. Um, it's the DF 2011 uh, Tut, I think it's called. Uh, just the default layout, so it gives you a hunter. So this guy's already gone out and he's hunting deer. So what we want to uh, to accommodate that straight away, we want a butcher's workshop and a and a tanner's workshop. So let's position that. Um, we'll put that here. Uh, we're not going to use the marble; we'll just use logs. That's fine. And the tanner's workshop is N, I believe, B and N. Um, so we'll put that in the corner there. No, we won't because it doesn't fit. Because there's a tree in the way. We'll cut it down in a minute. Uh, I'll also uh, load up in the background, which you won't see, a dwarf therapist. So that'll uh, help me keep track of my dwarves. And I'm going to keep that hunter actually as the butcher and tanner as well, which will mean that that will get built. Uh, down here, so let's get a farm up. So B and P, get a farm plot going straight away. Big farm plot straight across the back here. Uh, that'll do. And we're going to allocate an area for food. Um, may actually go above it. Um, we'll just use. Yes, I will. I'm going to go above it, so I'm going to allocate this area there for food and drink. And uh, yes, that'll do. So our farmer will come out and do that. Good stuff. Things are going well. So the basics you want for your fortress when you begin, you want a wood industry going. You want that carpenter cutting down trees. As you can see, my logs are starting to gather food industry, got to feed them, uh, alcohol, they love the beer, um, which is what we can do there, we can build a loom, uh, that's BWL, get that still built, uh, so that's going to be the first still built, 
Uh, so once you've got your food and alcohol, you've kind of got everything. That's all they want. Um, but then you just start developing after that. So, you, like I say, you get your carpenter. So you need your beds. You've got to get bedroom set up. You need a meeting hall set up. So we need for meeting hall, we need tables. We need chairs. You could do that with wood if you like. Uh, you could also do it with stone, which is what we're going to use. Uh, so what I'm going to do is make this area up here food and drink. So P and F. Uh, so we'll mark out that area. So that's our first storeroom, our stockpile as it's called. Uh, we're going to change the settings, so you just Q and S for change the settings. Get rid of the unprepared. Uh, I'm going to keep everything else pretty much. don't want seeds in there. I'm going to keep the seeds separate. Um, I don't want any milk. Um, actually, I, I, there's no reason we would stop permitting milk. I may as well have all that as well. Why not? Uh, extract a plant. Pressed material, cake, yeah, why not? Uh, paste, oh, go on. There's no, there's no reason not to keep any of this, actually. Um, we'll keep the flour in there as well. We don't need leaves. And uh, the seeds are going to be separate. I'll keep the seeds. Um, we'll do B, uh, P and food. We'll keep the seeds just in an area there. I'm going to keep that other little area. I'm probably going to place uh, perhaps uh, some different type of plant in there. Uh, sorry, I want to permit those and remove everything else. So that will be our little food stockpile set up there. Um, we'll perhaps have another one there in the in the alcohol area, and the dwarves will bring that straight down. So what we're going to have is good old plump helmets. Everybody loves plump helmets. Um, plump helmets are a great staple food source, and they can be turned into alcohol. Uh, I don't know what they do to turn mushroom into alcohol. Um, I'm sure the beer industry will be very interested in learning the exact process that goes into this. But as, is, as it is, we're going to get a carpenter's workshop up now. So there we go. So get a carpenter. Yes, we'll use the pine logs. That's brilliant. Um, I will get another one as, just as soon as they dig that singular square out. It's, come on. Slack miners. They do love to just change off directions and start mining elsewhere as they go. Um, I'm going to try to keep these uh, fairly reasonable. I've got, uh, I can upload as long uh, uh, a time as I like on these videos. Um, I've got a reasonable subscriber base so hopefully it's not going to turn them all off as I do a Let's Play Dwarf Fortress as my uh, loyal League of Legends uh, community thinks, what are you doing? It's a great game, I'm telling you. There's graphically Yes, I can see it turns a lot of people off, but the mechanics of this game are beyond the majority of games that are out there right now. Uh, in sort of, in terms of say city builders or uh, I don't know uh, what you'd class it as. I don't know what the uh, I guess you could call it an RTS uh, in in some form. You've got to build up your city and uh, you've got your soldier units later on, and you've got to dig down into the caverns and fight the monsters and defend your city with, from the goblins and elves possibly if you get a war with them. You can get a war with whoever you like. If you want to start a war, I don't know, seize all the goods on the humans or the elves or something and let them siege you and kill them as they come. And uh, You can do all sorts. You really can not do as much as you like. It's a pretty open-ended game uh, that you can just create whatever time for uh, joy you really want to from the game. Uh, why are... Uh, going to create uh, some extra storerooms. Uh, I'm doing it in this this sort of thing because this is so easy to dig out. Um, the It's just the soil. Actually it's clay isn't it? But soil and clay, is, uh, the, the, your miners will go through it so quickly. Um, don't worry about setting up a quick area. They're actually going to... Um, they're, they're filling this area with a, the wooden stockpile. What I want to do now is get uh, a bunch of beds constructed. So we really could do with... Um, Let's cancel that. Um, so, all I'm doing to access these, if you're not unsure, press Q and you just like just think of it as like a query or question or what's the actual name for it? Set building task preferences. Prefer to call it query. Uh, query the carpenter's workshop and say add task. So you just add and then pick whatever the hell you like to add to it. Uh, weather's cleared. Wonderful. Um, let's. Uh, they've knocked that tree down so we can get our tanner's workshop up here. The reason I build them outside, um, if uh, unrotten fr uh, rotten flesh is exposed, or it, it basically fle uh, flesh you kill an animal, it will go rotten. Um, it will uh, 
release this, it's called Miasma. Um, it's like a poisonous gas to your dwarves or to anything really. Um, it's like a purple poisonous gas and if it's downstairs it will fill a room up. Which is why I, I kind of leave it exposed. However, the flip side of that is if you do have meat sat there and you don't have a stockpile set up properly, uh, you'll kill an animal and it will just sit there in your butcher shop. If you haven't got a food stockpile for the meat, um, you'll attract vultures and, and such like uh, straight to it. So you've got to be uh, careful of these things. You can't just go crazy and just leave things like that. Anyway, that's that covered. So our hunter has uh, at the moment been going around. I'm not going to assign him a, uh, the war dog um, because I feel war dogs, uh, hunting dogs, sorry, actually tend to get themselves killed pretty easily. Um, I don't know what he's really been hunting yet. I guess we can see. There's pandas. Oh my god! <laughs> awesome. We've got pandas. Panda bears. Brilliant. So we must be in a reasonably exotic, maybe, uh, sort of area. So a panda bear. He's there, in case you can't see him. He's this, he's this black and white thing running around the map. Awesome. Panda bears. I don't think I've ever seen panda bears in this. Uh, so let's go down. We're going to dig out our uh, area. What is that we've uh, uncovered? Red sand, of course. Red sand, yes. Um, and the red sand's down there as well. So, uh, let's set up a potential another wood stock. Yeah, we want, we want a lot of wood. Um, wood is a very valuable resource. You've got to keep it out of the eyes of your uh, trade depot. Should the uh, greasy little elves come down? Uh, we don't like elves. Dwarves don't like elves, as I'm sure any remotely f fantasy person that's followed, I don't know, any any sort of fantasy style game knows that dwarves and elves don't really get along. So, what are we going to do now? We need our meeting hall set up and bedrooms. Uh, I'd like to possibly dig through this layer. I want it in stone, but I don't want it in flux stone. I've got to be honest. Um, well, flux stone is brilliant. I don't want my buildings made out of it. I could do with a, a slightly nicer rock than that. Um, you got to be, <coughs> you got to be careful when you go down because you do have cavern layers. But don't be too chicken shit to not go down too deep because, good lord, there's a lot of levels of flux stone there, isn't there? Okay. Uh, ah, right, okay, what's this then? Um, so, Gabbro. Oh, well, Gabbro is almost certainly a level of a cavern, cavern wall. Gabbro, I always find Gabbro around cavern walls, so it's just my, just me, maybe, but we'll soon see whether we breach anything. Otherwise, I'll uh, perhaps make uh, our bedrooms in this Gabbro layer when they ever come down to dig it. Someone's coming down now, there we go. Seems okay. Uh, oh, that's that's a that's a metal, isn't it? Tet 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 tetrahyde, whatever it is called. Where have they found that? That's, this is Gabbro. Oh, it'd be the bottom one, won't it? It'd be the there, right? Oh, brilliant. Okay, so let's dig this out then. Uh, so that's a metal, isn't it? That's a metal. I think, unfortunately, it's for tin. Can't look it on there. It's tetra, whatever it's called. Tetra, 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 tetra. Techno, 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 techno. Where is it? Tetrahydrite. Shit, it's silver and copper. Okay, well, that's, yeah, whatever. Copper we can live with. We'll have to make our weapons out of copper. That's good. I can, I can live with that. Um, so we'll have our um, forges and such down there. So let's let's dig out our area for bedrooms. So uh, simple little layouts that I like to do. Um, I'm sure if you suffered my little tutorial that I did, um, you'd have got used to sort of seeing this little layout. It's fine. Um, it's just the reasoning behind it is you can uh, you can put doors on each exit, so you can have four a four way door. It doesn't have to be four way. You can just do it one way if you want. You can put traps all around it. Um, and it's for the central staircase. Um, it's two by two, purely. A, what am I doing? That's a meeting hall. Yeah. Um, bedrooms here. Oops. I do three by three bedrooms. Um, that gives it room for uh, 
Uh, yeah, like I said, a two corridor is so dwarves can pass. If it's a one corridor, they can't really pass each other. Um, they'll bump into each other as they sort of try to pass. Um, as I quickly mouse these bits. Um, yeah, so you can you can do whatever you know sort of you like. It's up to you how you do bedrooms. My reasoning about behind a three by three bedroom, I, I do find it so much quicker than them with a cursor key. I've got to be honest. Uh, not except when I cock up like that. Now my reasoning behind three by three bedrooms is I build a bed, a coffer, and a cabinet in there, um, and that really I find keeps them pretty much happy. Then you you can smooth it out, etc. Later on if you really want to. Um, this is 12 bedrooms, we've only got 7 dwarves so that's plenty. Um, so that's going to be our meeting hall and our bedrooms. Brilliant. Okay, so we're going alright. We've got we've got metal. Um, I'll perhaps expand on that uh, layer in a moment. And, uh, oh good, we've got uh, metal here as well. So it's on this layer so we don't need to really go much further. So next setup is our, uh, we need some some sort of area for tables etc so we could probably do that in one of the maybe the flux layers just above it and we could set up a workshops up there um, I'll let these guys dig out before I tell them to start digging anything else so uh, what can we do up top while they're digging out um, workshops what do we want more well, we can just set up a bit more food area actually um, oh we don't need to do that yet I'm just getting ahead of myself now uh, you don't overly stretch your dwarfs. It's it's easy to do just to keep pumping out all these different tasks. Um, and just th think of it as like a, a resource stall, say if you were playing, I don't know, StarCraft maybe. You kind of you resource stall your economy. Um, and you, you just try and do too much too quick. You have to be efficient uh, in everything you do really. If you really want the best out of your fortress. Um, later on when you've got hundreds of people, it, you can do whatever you like really. Um, you generally got enough dwarves to be able to facilitate anything you want to build. Um, looks like we've got probably honeybees over there. Uh, I, I, bumblebees, brilliant. Bumblebees are even better. Bum yes, they're calling it bumblebees. Bumblebees, the bumblebees and honeybees create different things, don't they? I'm not sure. Mm. I'd have to check dwarf wiki. I'm not 100 percent clear. I am not a uh, an encyclopedia of uh, of dwarf wiki, I'm afraid. Uh, there are things that I do not know, which I will uh, almost certainly show up during this uh, let's play. So that's it. I guess we could uh, maybe call that part one, maybe because they are digging out, and as exciting as it is to watch my dwarves dig, it doesn't show uh, it's too much, and it's drawn more of me waffling than anything. Um, when you come back, I will have this all dug out in my nice little bedroom and then we'll uh, perhaps begin construction of the workshops. <laughs>